I'm here today to visit the manufacturer of a British car that's been around for 62 years. Two years ago, that company had no future until in stepped a gallant Jonathan Haynes who turned the company round. What is that company? Well, actually, it's Reliant. But don't laugh, because it's a good story. I'm talking now to Jonathan Haynes, the Managing Director of Reliant. In March 1996, things were looking pretty grim for Reliant, then you came along. Why? Well, in, in, in 95, the end of 95, the company went into administration, and the administrators um, put the company up for sale, and we had several people who were interested in, Re in Reliant, and I formed a small team around me, and we did our due diligence, and by March, we made up our mind that this was a company which could be turned around. Um, it was a unique opportunity to acquire a company which has got 65 years of British motoring heritage behind it. And it was on a substantial site um, with an extremely good trading record in the UK. We've got a niche market with the passenger cars, but I feel that there is another niche market with the small commercial courier vans, courier pickups, uh, particularly for London and inner cities in, in Europe. And um, we have a unique a uh, turning circle, the same as a London taxi, 24 feet, uh, doesn't scratch, doesn't rust, and frankly they go on forever. I must say they do look very smart, all nice and new, with these, uh, these racy wheels and new trim. Tell me more about them. What, who, who are you aiming them at? Well, traditionally, um, motorbike licence holders have, have, have um, been our main customer base, but with the commercial side, we think that small businesses, in fact I know small businesses will take the car, perhaps window cleaners, um, small plumbing companies and that type of thing, which have already shown a lot of interest. So we're in the factory now, can you explain a bit about the production line? Yes, we, this, on a single uh, weekly shift we've got a capacity for over 30 vehicles as it stands at the moment uh, with our current, current labour loading and behind me we bring the cars in from our paint shop and then traditionally what I call the pre-mount line and then we go to a mounting track which is uh, on this side and then on to a final finish area and then the, from here the cars go to road test and water test and for any rectification that needs to be done and then to a dispatch bay and PDI and then the dealers come to, come to collect the cars from the factory. And the cars and the commercials go down the same line? Yes, they do. We, we keep them slightly segregated left to right, um, but the whole idea is, is to build the cars on, with the same people, the same skills, down, down a single production line. Your name's not just associated with Reliant, you, you were involved in the motor industry before that, weren't you? Yes, I was. I was previously at Jaguar Cars and um, started at Jaguar in 1964 uh, as a student apprentice and I worked my way through various departments at Jaguar um, for 25 years and then I left um, in 1990 and set up my own business which was quite successful and then it gave me the opportunity to, to purchase into Reliant. As you say, th there is a great following am amongst the owners, the very loyal owners. But it's, it's one of the British characteristics that people like to knock, an, knock a success. And Reliance had its, its, its degree of knockers. Tell me why, why, why they're wrong. Well, they're certainly, certainly wrong. Um, 
I think I, I expect a lot of people who perhaps knock the product probably haven't tried the product. Um, certainly when you drive um, the three-wheel car it feels no different at all to a four-wheel car um, and it's extremely nippy um, and handles well and I would say I, I, I would say please come and try the car before you knock it. Obviously as you said you built four wheelers but why, why three wheels? What's special about three wheels rather than four? Well in the immediate um, sense three wheels is, has got the advantage that it's a 60 pound um, license fee per, per year rather than 150 pounds currently being used um, and it's also extremely lightweight um, of course if you, you're saving weight of the third of the fourth wheel and again it's it, that's attractive in, in terms of the, the weight limits which we which we have to do to get our performance right what advice would you give to someone who wants to buy a second-hand car manufacturer buy one um, it's probably the unique opportunity to do it and frankly there aren't many left to buy